The Connecticut Sun have experienced many peaks and valleys since the franchise came into existence as the Orlando Miracle back in 1999. Uh, while the team encountered rough waters early on, since moving to Connecticut, it's been full steam ahead. They've made it to the WNBA Finals the past two years and have real designs on making it three in a row. We take a retrospective look at one of the WNBA's premier franchises. And the 2005 WNBA champions of your Sacramento Monarchs. The Sun left the finals empty-handed for the second straight year. But they have every reason to be optimistic, considering they've dominated the competition this season. I think it's just a credit to, to what Connecticut Sun is all about, what we've been about since um, our inception here four years ago. Uh, definitely four years ago, uh, there wasn't a lot of recognition given to our players, and uh, rightfully so. We hadn't won in Orlando. We were coming uh, to a new franchise, and uh, we were rebuilding. The franchise was born eight seasons ago as the Orlando Miracle. The team's young star was a collegiate champion, full of energy and personality, Nakisha Sales. I am really excited. I'm anxious to get out on the court. We have a great team, a lot of veterans, a lot of experience, so we should look good. I'm ready to play. Let's go. After four seasons in Florida, the team moved north to a hotbed of women's basketball. A new day dawned for the Sun and a proud Connecticut native. My mom's excited. You know, she gets to see more games. Um, grandmother is just over overwhelmed. And it's a little more pressure coming back, you know, playing um, in Connecticut. And, you know, a lot of people expect a lot of things from you, which is okay, you know. Um, it kind of makes you become more focused. It's been a great experience, a great ride, um, you know, just, just to kind of have that comfort playing in, in Connecticut in the summer. Two years ago, Nikisha was joined by a young point guard named Lindsey Whalen. Whalen is a talented floor leader who's made a return to the lineup after suffering a series of injuries last season. That's it, keep it there. Come on. Yeah, 10 seconds. I think with the last two years, it's obviously disappointing in New Orleans Championship, but um, where this team has come from and where we're going, it's, it's a lot of improvement. The younger players are, are coming into their roles and the vets are continuing to get better, so we're just excited about the season and where we're going to go. The Sun has also received scoring punch from an unexpected source, veteran Katie Douglas, a solid role player who has blossomed into the team's leading scorer. Life in the dubs. Life in the dubs. I love my teammates. We're hungry. Um, we want this more than anything. We know that each and off season we kind of look at ourselves individually and, and try to get better. You know, we feel like we were close two years ago, extremely close last year, so we feel like we've gotten better, so hopefully you know, in all those areas and aspects that that can put us over the hurdle. Together, one, two, three, together. together. We know if we win the Eastern Conference Championship, that when the playoffs start, you really, really, really have to, you know, concentrate and, and just not expect to win just because you won it all in a regular season. I think now we can really focus on, you know, finishing. We have to finish. One of these years, we have to finish.